Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2 for like the third time today. Uh, we had some streaming issues earlier, but I am hoping that they are all resolved as of now. Uh, thank you for everybody for your patience. Uh, we are supposed to be hunting Medusa today, and I will be having a full guide available on everything that we're doing. Uh, but essentially, there's a lot of different things tied to Medusa, and we're actually really close to finding her for the first time. Well, first time uh, in a live stream here. And um, we're going to be making sure to get all of the items, all of the achievements for killing Medusa, as well as all the little bonuses with quest lines attached to her as well. So there's a lot of things that you can miss in this game, and uh, there's a lot of things around Medusa that you can miss as well, so that's what we're working on. Uh, but yeah, hope everybody's having a good day. Oh my god. That nightmare with YouTube, but um, looks like everything is stable now. I'm going to give it a second, make sure we're good, let people join, because we started a little bit early. And um, we will dive right in. I guess I'll recap what we did at the, like, towards the end of the last live stream, and everything was break breaking. Uh, but essentially, we've done a couple of different things. We started off by making sure to get a shield called the Daughter of the Evening. This is, if you're familiar with, like, Odysseus and the Odyssey and all of that, you can use a shield or something to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her to petrify her. So this is actually tied to an achievement. There's two different ways to get the achievement. Uh, but also, there's two different, ver well, three different versions of her head that we can get. We've got one of them in our inventory right now. Um, I think we did. We might have put it away, which is the petrified version of her head. Then we can get like a withered version and a perfect version of her head. As well as a bow that gives a ridiculous bonus to XP. And, uh, and a couple other things as well. About to take a nap, but we're back. Aw, oh, yeah. So it looks like we are stable. We're going to create a new save game here real quick. And then we are going to roll out like roly poly -oly. I got some whiskey on delivery, so it's going to be an interesting night. <laughs> Now, if you have never fought Medusa before, and or you don't know where she is, uh, Back Patal has a couple of different people that reference where she might be. And what you can do is if you head out of Back Patal, you can go down this road right here. You can follow this road south, and you're going to follow the main road until you kind of go to this little fork in the road where you cross a bridge. And you go through a little tunnel, and you make your way out here. This is going to take us over across a bridge where Medusa is. So for anybody that wants to follow along with what we're doing for this, uh, feel free to. We're going to be fighting her a couple of different times to basically do everything that we need to do. Oh boy. Okay, let's cross this bridge first. You can already see just as cross as we cross like as we cross the bridge, all the little petrified animals in this area. I don't know why Medusa was actually, you know, going out and exploring and murdering everything on this particular, like, little island, but she clearly has. And Karen out here getting Claptosaurus Rexed already. And all of those problems with the, the stream earlier, I forgot to re equip the one skill that I needed. I'm hoping maybe there's a campsite over here somewhere, too. I don't know if my chat's working. Everything's a nightmare today. Oh, chat is working. Maybe? I'll combine my magic with yours. And you might cast the spell more quickly. Are panaceas in the game still? Yeah. Yep. You can get them. They sell for a lot of money. I, <laughs> at the beginning of the game, I was just selling them because I don't ever really use potions. I just try not to get debilitations. But no, they 100% still, still exist. I believe you can use them to heal yourself of potential petrification when you're One fighting uh, Medusa as well. We mustn't allow Jay Lee, to what'd it do? Complacent. Welcome, welcome, Take welcome. Each trial as it comes. Come chasing us as well, have you? Yes, the Medusa Torrents, we have indeed. Aye. Rumors abound of the Shrine of Eld in this domain. Could be hiding all manner of priceless treasures, couldn't it? And if monsters happen to be guarding it, I shan't be afeard. Nay, I'll strike them down with tooth and claw. That's how I plan to make a name for myself, see? 
Good luck, Torrance. <laughs> May the odds forever be in your favor, bud. Something tells me they're not going to be, though. Does Medusa respawn? Yes, it's like 14 days-ish, 15 days. Uh, we're going to be covering all of that in the stream, as well as in a follow-up video that I'll release either tonight or tomorrow. I, uh, we go to pick up my son tomorrow, so I might save the video so I can actually get a good night's sleep tomorrow. And uh, I'll just release it tomorrow instead of making two videos tonight. But it depends on how things go. We'll see. I kind of want I wanted to release it tonight originally, but then we had all those issues with the stream earlier and kind of mucked up the plans a little bit. Yeah, Medusa spawns about every 15 hour or 15 in-game days. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. These guys are thick. Dang, they hit like real hard. It's good XP right now. We don't want to go in that cave right now. I do later, but not right now. Not particularly concerned about it. This is a Medusa hunt, not a cave hunting hunt, you know? I'll collect that. You need to I shan't let the palm be. I'm mal eating elixir. I don't know if I've ever gotten one of those before. Uh, but anyways, if anybody's out there lurking, hanging out with us today, maybe you join the other stream where everything was broken. Um, I know you might not have liked it, but a like will definitely help YouTube uh, not oppress us for the issues that we've had today, even though they were YouTube-related issues. Oh, Lord have mercy. I am getting destroyed right now. What am I doing? Prepare yourself. Really, really good XP here, actually. Let us aim for greater precision with our next attempt. YouTube owes us reparations, exactly. I don't know why that tree made me fly for a second, but it did. I can find myself this is generally used as a material. I'm sure if I was God, all my mages just out here blasting all the time. So essentially what you need to do to get to Medusa is just follow all of the petrified corpses and creatures and things like that. And eventually you'll see this little hole with two trees kind of crossed across it. That's Medusa's lair. Let's go, Karen! I do want to see if there's a campsite up here before we continue. Lurking today while I'm at work? Nice. I won't tell nobody, I promise. Mayhap these statues were erected that the animals might not lose their way. I think everything is dead around here. Having a campsite like right next to where Medusa is definitely is going to help. Also, if you have any like scrag of beast or anything that you cook, getting the strength, defense, and stamina is also going to help before we engage Medusa as well. Especially depending on what level you are when you go to fight her. Well, we've eaten our fill. Just gonna rest till morning. Say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep. I tried lurking while in class last night. Epic fail. Oh, no. <clears throat> so we're going to do... Uh, wow. Oh, wait. I completely forgot to do the one thing that I wanted that campsite for. I want to equip a new skill. So we are using the Warfare for this, which allows us to use multiple skills. Right now I have Cutting Wind and Skull Splitter equipped. Uh, but for Medusa specifically, because I want to get the perfect head, I want to see if a specific... Thief skill will help with that, which is called Gut and Run. Cruelly stabs and gouges the target before drawing back. A fearsomely powerful skill. Employable only while clinging to or pinning down a target. Inflicts greater harm on a foe's weak point. Which is exactly what I'm hoping for when it comes to taking off Medusa's head early. 
which is actually going to be what we're going to try and do first. I think the game just crashed. <laughs> oh my God. This is my first crash, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a day like many other days, but way more full of issues. I don't know what kid like I like, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong today, but I did something wrong. Maybe I woke up happy and the universe is like, mm -mm, not in my house. That's on the background. We're going to crash the game and uh, try again. Romance with Ulrika. Oh, I did that today. Uh, very missable, by the way. There's a couple of romances in the game. Each tied to various things that can happen in the game too, which is really cool. I'll have videos on those uh, today, tomorrow, and the next day. At least I managed to rest, right? So we did save, so we're good. Let's got to reboot the game. All right, where's the whiskey delivery? I feel like that's going to make everything better today. That's going to give the, 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 the video fuel. <laughs> Somebody left a comment. I, apparently, I messed up editing the last video. So I do edit. I record, research, and edit all the videos as well as Lexara helps with that as well. Um, but apparently, I messed up somewhere in today's video editing it. And somebody left a comment just before I started the stream saying, <laughs> I th it was all along the likes of like, I don't know who edits your videos, but I'm pretty sure they were drunk. And I was going to be like, I edit the videos and I'm about to be super drunk editing the next video, <laughs> which is going to be this Medusa one after today. Oh my Lord. All right, the question is, did we save? We did. So we got the gut and run. We were able to save. I know precisely when a curative Who is. Who the heck are master. you? You'll never fall in battle so long as I. Good old woos. So it's got high flagration, leaven, salamander, and. Your warfare guide was great. Oh, hell yeah, Mappa. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to try and get the perfect version of her head. This is going definitely going to be, like, the most difficult way no, to be able to try and take her down without having any issues. Well. Killing her in general isn't approach, too bad. But, we might examine it further. but I want to see if we can do it. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to leave my pawns here. If you do like your pawns, I actually recommend leaving them behind. It seems pretty difficult to be able to get your pawns to survive through this because they don't move out of her gaze. And she can petrify and instantly kill your pawns. So if you're doing this for the first time, be kind of cognizant of that. Uh, but yeah, once we enter into this cave, we're going to be able to see Medusa that. kind of squirming around in here. And if we run in... I'm going to try and avoid her gaze. She will... Depending on how far away she is, she might try and petrify you right off the bat. But what I want to focus on right now is trying to get a perfect version of her head. So I'm going to pop one of these savagery, savagery extracts. And we're just going to jump. We're not going to do any damage to her unless we are specifically targeting her head. The nice thing about climbing her too is you're just not going to get hit by the gaze. Bringing stamina potions for this is going to be key as well. So I want to cling to her. Can I cling to Oh no, Karen, no, don't. There we go. So we should be able to do gut and run now. Oh man, it didn't cut off her head instantly. I don't want my pawns doing any damage. And I really didn't want them to come in here either. Come on, cut off the head. Cut off the head. <laughs> Getting a perfect head cut, I think, is going to be the hardest part of this. We might not be strong enough. We might need to buy better equipment, actually. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> Just got yeeted off. Oh, come on. Right, we're gonna go down the back then. Where am I right now? Just got like punched through the world. Climb, you piece of garbage. Thank you. Oh, my lord. Daggers need to be electric imbued to cut her head off? That's not true at all. I've already done this a few times. I don't know who said that. God dang it. This is... I'm getting knocked off way more than I was before, though. Cons are doing way too much damage. You do not need to use electric weapons. I don't know who said you needed to do that. I don't want my pawns in here, though. They're really screwing this up. Oh, well, they're all going to die now anyways. Karen, move! This is not my first time getting the uh, the head here. What I'm trying to do is something very specific. I uh, like she'd already be dead if I was actually trying to get her head off. But um, there's a specific way to get like a different version of her head, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. It's a little bit more difficult to. I mean, I've already failed at doing that, so I can stop now. You need to do it when she's got almost full health. Which she doesn't even have close to that right now. There's also a thing you can do where you can try and chop her head off when she's doing the gaze. I um, haven't tried to chop off her head without doing that yet. Which we're going to try and do right now because I'm curious. Well, we cut off her head. As you can see, we didn't use electric weapons. I don't know who said you need to do that, but you don't. Um, so, anyways, we did it the not great way the first time. So we got a withered Medusa head. There's actually a way to get a better version of her head. We also got the Medusan spell bow and the granite Medusa bone. Uh, let's see here. Now, the Medusan spell bow is going to drastically increase your XP gain. The unfortunate part about it is it weighs 15 kilograms, which is absolutely bananas. We ought to examine it carefully. Mm -mm -mm. There is a better version of her head that we can get as well. Uh, we want to make sure we go to the end of this tunnel too. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. Uh, we'll get the better version of her head here in a little bit. Uh, now, the main thing is, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we take this head and complete the Sculptor's Quest before it expires. The problem with the head that you get from this is it does expire just like everything else. And it expires not only while it's in your inventory, while it's on your belt, or when you're using it too. So every time you use it is going to reduce the uh, the quality of the head. Where'd that quest go? Uh, so if you do have the quest uh, of a case of a sculptor's block, you're going to want to make sure not to use... Where did it go? There we go. Uh, to not use, especially if you get the withered Medusa head. So... The thing about the weathered, the withered produce, uh, the withered producer head, <laughs> the withered Medusa head is that we really are only going to get like one or two uses out of it before it's not going to be usable anymore. So if we really want to complete that, that, um, actually, what do we want to do? Let's just move this over here. Of course, we're too far away. Now the thing is, where we need to go is pretty far. What's the difference between the different heads again? Just the duration? Yeah. Yep. One's just way better than the other one. 
lasts a lot longer. A party of women, by and large. And yet, no two of us are the same. So that was one of the two achievements that we can get. There is another one. Since I really don't want my Medusa head to expire, I am going to use a Fairy Stone uh, just to get to back Batal as quick as possible. The Withered Medusa heads don't last very long, and you want to make sure that you don't use it if you want to get the perfect ending seem to, have a ride without issue. Uh, to the Sculptor's but quest line. Which means we also need to run straight I back to the ox cart here. I believe it's much more efficient to take the ox cart and then take it up to... Well, you know what? It might end up being just about the same. Yeah, we'll just run there. We won't take the ox cart. It's, I think it's going to be very similar time-wise. Got the stream to work? Yeah, there was, a, there was an issue with YouTube. Not much to not much that I could actually do about it to fix it. I want to reduce my weight. First all my NPC or all my Where are they going right now? Mm -hmm. right, we definitely need to reduce our load. Oh, now we can. It's this freaking bow. It's just so heavy. There you go. Merry Christmas, Karen. It seems I've collected a few too many things. Perhaps I ought to Is this game worth it? I absolutely love it. It is easily one of my most favorite open world action RPGs. I haven't been this invested in exploring every single thing like side quests and stuff have to offer. Like obviously if there's been a lot of great open worlds like Elden Ring, things like that, really great open worlds. Um, what I love about this one is a lot of the side quests, like in most games that you play nowadays, side quests are just filler. You know, they don't really... Some of them do tie to greater stories. There's a lot of games that advertise, your, your choices matter. They never do. Like, take Cyberpunk 2077, for instance. Like, very rarely do your choices even matter at all. Um, but they do very much in this game. It can very much change how things play out. I don't want to deal with any of these bros right now. We're just going to keep on going. kind of feel bad leaving those people behind, though. They'll be all right. Scotticus, what it do? How are you? So we're going to be killing Medusa two more times to get the other achievements and other versions. Maybe three, because I want to see what else we can do to get the... Uh, the perfect head. Lay down your arms. The game is being held back by optimization, though. Yeah, I've heard... I mean, honestly, the first crash that I've had was moments ago. I haven't had any other ones, but I've heard a lot of issues with crashes and things like that, which unfortunately is becoming more and more common with games nowadays. Let's make sure. Still got the withered Medusa head. Come on. Don't drag you should be. This will look badly performing to you. <laughs> I mean, my experience is not going to be standard. I have a, you know, I have a very expensive computer. But then again, there's a lot of people with very expensive computers that are having a lot of issues too. Um, maybe stop watching so much, you know. Prawn. And you won't have like, problems with your computer. I don't know. Update your drivers. It's weird. That's the that's the hard thing about PC games in general, though. Like optimizing for all the different combinations and stuff is just really hard for developers. Oh, yeah. 
not to mention differences in like Windows 10 and Windows 11. I could very well not be having a lot of performance issues because I'm still on Windows 10. I don't know. I've heard people are crashing and having a ton of like... Actually, I went in there into uh, the office with Luxar and I noticed that she was having a lot of stuttering, which I haven't experienced a single time. She's got a really good computer over there too. So I'm assuming I need to update the drivers or something. Yeah, so my experience is not going to be standard, to be fair. Gotta get the special prawn computers. That's what Macs are for. Only reason to get a Mac. Unless you want to waste money. I forget who said that joke originally. Some comedian. I should really be testing out the XP on the new bow. Let me equip it. I wonder... We'll, fi we'll figure it out later. We don't got time for messing around with stuff right now. Essentially, our goal right now is to get from Medusa's lair to the area where the griffin is as quick as possible to be able to complete the sculptor's quest the right way. That's our main focus right now. Oh my god, really? A freaking dragon? Good luck. Bye bye. We're gonna run past the dragon. I ain't dealing with it right now. <laughs> what luck? Come on, Fulvio. We gotta go, bud. We gotta go real fast. I know the dra the, the griffin's up ahead. Uh, so once we get to this location, what we want to do is we can head to our implements, and then we can equip the Medusa head to our belt, and we actually wear it instead of a lantern, and we use it just like a lantern as well. Uh, I'm actually going to tell my compatriots here to wait, and we'll kind of go up here with Fulvio to the griffin. Positively splendid. And then I'm going to brandish the head, and we're going to use it on this griffin to freeze it in place. So we get the 11,181 XP, 202 DCP. But now he gets to completely sketch the griffin the way he wants to. Did you use a Medusa's head just now, Arisen? Pray, show it to me. Oh, no, wait. On second thought, best not. Yeah, you don't want to look at a Medusa's head, bud. But to think you would be in possession of such a thing. You certainly are full of surprises. I cannot thank you enough, Arisen. With this, I shall doubtless be able to chisel a griffin most glorious. Just take the griffin there. Just give him the griffin. Yeah, no, it's a pretty phenomenal way to do things. But you'll notice that with the withered head that we used, it disappeared. So you only get a very short use with a withered head than you do with a very good version of the head. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, also, when you use it on creatures, you don't get any of their loot. So that's also a problem. You're welcome to take whatever you like. But Griffin's nests do have good things in I'm them, so make sure to if you do go to the Griffin, pick up all the stuff inside the Griffin's nest for more money, Jasper, all that stuff. And you get a wicked cool garden statue, exactly. Yeah, so now we can actually complete that quest the right way. And we can go back and get more of the Medusa heads too. Got to start a statue garden like in Percy Jackson. <laughs> exactly. Um, let's do one thing. I want to test out the XP on this bow. So we're going to give it back to me. Just going to make me thicker than a box of jelly donuts. Since we're on Warfare, I want to see if we can equip it. Still get an XP bonus without actually having to have it like equipped, equipped, you know? Can I change pun inclination and voice using Art of Metamorphosis? Or do I need to use using the incense? Ooh, you know what? 
Art of Metamorphosis should, in theory, work, but I'm gonna this be honest, I don't actually know. I haven't tested it. I'm sure we'll find a we could change Karen up and test it if we wanted to. Tried to freeze that griffin, but failed a little over two hours ago. I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't look like we get it. So now if we rearmament to, to the bow, do we have to have it equipped equipped? All creatures who know death cling to life. Tis the mark. It greatly increases stamina consumption, but filling foes with it earns the wielder hefty experience. So I actually have to kill the foes with it, which is a big bummer. It definitely makes it a lot more annoying to use, for sure. I mean, it does good damage, though. Are you serious? You're just going to hang out up there? A stupid hoof. Mm. This is a pretty th thick experience increase. You could literally just use it at the very end of a fight. I don't know if it's really worth it. Take care of it, Karen. Caution is called for when walking so close by the river. We also have the ring from uh from the Sphinx. You can combine the two for a pretty thick XP increase if you really just want to like increase your character XP fast. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. <laughs> Close out a door to I gotta make sure I pay attention to that because I ordered uh alcohol for delivery. There's they're heading to us and I think they need to see my ID, so I need to make sure I uh I go up there for that. Do you get anything uh, special using Medusa's head to kill that griffin? So, the first time that I did it, I also failed it. Got a decent amount of gold for it, but the guy was very upset. This is actually going to be my first time seeing what you do get for completing it. Um, what the frick? What a dick! I've actually been saving doing this the right way to do it during the stream. Because I like sharing this stuff with you guys. It was a good time. That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Been actively avoiding any and all main quests since getting to Vermund. Uh, doing everything in Batal and uh, I gimping myself in some way? No. There is a certain quest in Vermund. Um, it's called the Coronation. You can do everything in Vermund. Uh, you can do the main story in Vermund, but don't do the Coronation until you feel comfortable that you've done all side quests in Vermouth before then. Um, once you've done that, then do that particular quest, and then you can continue on without fear of really preventing yourself from doing any quest lines. Dude, bro, here. 
I'm not gonna fight him. I don't feel like dealing with him right now. It's the first time I've ever seen a Minotaur there. I've seen Golems, Cyclops, but not a Minotaur. screwing me like this right now you want oh my lord what the heck i swear to god sometimes you just get stun locked into oblivion in this game do i like the mystic spear hand yeah i i like it a lot actually i currently have it combined with my rogue but or thief, or whatever you want to call it. Rogue, thief, same difference. What? Karen? How did you... What? Coming, Are you sh... <laughs> I always get stun locked by goblins. It's the worst. I swear. I'm safe. These Thanks. birds can eat my ass. They're abusing him right now. Those birds just suck. <laughs> the griffin just got here too. The one downside to the setup that I'm running right now, I don't have the ability to deal with uh, ranged creatures very well, like birds. <laughs> How much gold we got? Fifty-seven thousand right now. I am in a city. Why am I not regenerating stamina right now? I love Mystic Spearhand. It's probably my favorite. Thief, I think, is still just in general more power. Did this bird follow me all the way into town? Fuck off. What a dick. Yeah, yeah. Hooray to you, bucko. You did a good job. You killed the bird you should have killed like 15 hours ago. Heavens no. I've never seen a bird do that before. I swear to God. Today, just the universe is out to get me today. I swear. Let me sleep, please, sir. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the in open. Sweet baby beluga whale. Fairy stones, and it makes my soul hurt. I wonder if I hit her in the face with an explosive arrow, if that'll knock her head off. <laughs> I hadn't tried that before. Tough, but complaining won't do any good. Always a pleasure. Honestly, the only reason I haven't just switched back to Rogue right now is because uh, I don't have the money to... I mean, I could go farm up money. I'm so busy with everything else. You didn't have weapons equipped in your inventory to use warfare? Yeah. Of course. How else are you going to slap stuff with stuff? Whip it out of your butt? Think it. You can change it on a whim.
So we've got high ho 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 now. No, I don't want to. Prescient Flare. Affixes a target with a magical orb that explodes after a time if it's attacked. Striking the orb adds more explosions and makes them more powerful. Orb fades if not attacked for a period of time. Ooh. Maybe we'll get rid of high flagration for that. I'll see if that's good. I don't know if it's good or not. We'll find out. Augments your knockdown presence. I'm not gonna use that. Mm -mm -mm. That works really well with Helm Splitter. That's what I was just thinking. I don't know if I like High Salamander. And if High Frigger is worse than Haggle. I mean, Haggle seems good, but I also don't know how much damage it does. I kind of like seeing those big ice pillars come up and just destroy everything. I mean, we're just going to use Meteor once we get it. I just you haven't unlocked it yet. Lose leisure doing business. How many weapons should you carry for warfare? Hoy, no need to overthink it. That's completely up to you, honestly. So I want to get warfare to level 9. You're just about my uh, weight, weight affects your movement speed. Basically, want to be able to move faster. Augments our strength. So many things I want to rank up still. You can change it on a whim. I wish I could see in this menu like how. You've not to... How do I go from? Lose and many thanks. I have a guide on how to unlock warfare as quick as possible. Highly recommend checking it out if you so desire. Alright, so there's a quest in here that we want to do that involves repairing a sword. Yes, the Dold Regalia sword. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to? So we need to get it in our inventory. Efficiency is not the only factor. We got to wait a few days to be able to do the finishing part of the sculptor's quest, and we need fourteen days. Changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep. To be able to get the what's her face to respawn. Why am I struggling? Where is it? What you gonna do? There it is. The in open. It's tough, but complaining do come again. Asher is nearby. We might need to take a momentary break here in a second. Over here, if you would. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I caught the live again. Um, yeah, but no, I have a tutorial on how to unlock the Warfare if you want to check it out. Uh, but if you do get pick up the quest for the fixing of the Regalia Sword, there's a smithy down here that you can talk to that should be able to do it for us. We have arrived. Aye, what brings you to Brocker's smithy? Looking for Scale Cinder, are we? Well, you're Oh, alone. this also helps with the Scale Our Cinder questline, too. Oh, tis at an elf's behest, you say? Why would we say that? A wee bit. Elves and dwarves don't get along, see? Brocker won't want to help you. Oh, come on. Unless you were to offer him aught he couldn't resist. Listen, 
I happen to know there's one bit of elven culture no dwarf can turn their nose up at. All elven fares bland as grass. All of it. That is, save this singularly flavoursome dish, Nutriab. Course, no dwarf would openly admit to having a taste for it. But the fact of the matter is, the mere smell of that dish has dwarves foaming at the maw. Don't believe me? Bring a bowl of it to Brocka. You'll soon see. So the blacksmith ought to grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutriab. Shall we inform Ms. Darren of this, Master? Okay, so it sounds like we can get it from her. Okay, that's not bad. Someday. Is it not going to let us do it? As you're no master smith yourself, you need to find someone who is capable of repairing the blade in your stead. We must need to unlock this. So we probably need to get the... The dish first. Then we need to come back here. Let's see. If tis a blacksmith you need, I can't... Oh, ho! Ah, there we go. We just need to talk to Broker to unlock the, the Regalia sword first. quest. <laughs> All right, That's not bad. Look, then. Hmm. Now here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I e'er saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But, as I've said, I've laid down my tools, and before you start begging, Know that I don't intend to pick them back up. Oh, come on, broker. Well, why are you still standing there? That went rather poorly, I fear. What are we to do now? Well, what the heck? That went rather poorly, I fear. What are we to do now? All right, well, we'll figure it out, I guess. Beg pardon, sir. But, uh, oh. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood ever eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel! Well, now, god dang! I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here while I'm gone? Maybe we can bribe him with booze. Of you can. You go enjoy yourself. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. Ooh, the plot doth thicken. Yes, you can change the uh, inclination with Art of Metamorphosis. Perfect. It's actually really good to know. We are going to be fighting Medusa a few more times in this too, for anybody that is joining in now, wondering if we're going to fight her again. We will. It was special made to use Glimmer Coal, mined from a nearby cavern. Till the monsters settled in, that is. Neither of us I knew this place needed place Glimmer now. Coal. I freaking knew it. Listen, Brock is too proud to ask for help, but I'm not. Would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some Glimmer Coal? I'll take as much as you can carry. Should you succeed, I reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours. Now, true to its name, Glimmer Coal emits a pale light. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Alright, I know exactly where that is. Literally did a tutorial on that cave today. Sir Brocker ought to have a change of heart about the regalia sword. Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. Alright, so we are going to continue that quest line, but we're not going to do that right now. we got other things that we're focused on at the moment. We do need to rest for the night, because we, uh... How might I be Got our buttholes punched in. Not sure how much we must rest, though the sun is still up. Boy. Oh uh, yeah, the the Medusa or Gorgon respawns every fourteen days. Man, people are using and abusing Karen right now. To this world I return. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, 
Don't I have my place in Bakpatal? No, I, I we literally just got to Bakpatal. I haven't I haven't bought a place here yet. I need to though, uh, especially now that we're spending a lot of our time here. Uh, so let's see it. Let's see if we can continue. We have so much to do. Find the jadeite orb. What happened to the sculptor's quest? It just like disappeared. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. I'm thinking maybe Walking we just need to return and maybe tiring. he'll invite us. Well, he's here. Hello, Clark Bucko. To unveil the sculpture before a select audience. He asked me to extend an invitation to you as well. I will await you at his estate in Vernworth's noble quarter. Perfect. So all we need to do is just return to Fulvio in back Batal. And we'll be able to unlock the next part of the quest. Which is weird, because we didn't have it in our quest log anymore, either. There's also something interesting that happens in this town... ...that I'm curious about. There's a character that talks kind of near the entrance of this town... ...about these very realistic sculptures that if you could get our hands on one... ...would be worth a ton of money. They hang out right in front of this inn... And he's always here talking about the sculpture, so I have a feeling that us doing this right actually unlocks something with this dude. I don't know where he is right now. He's gone. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Alright, so hold on. I just need to rename one of those files real quick. And then we're going to... We're going to finish the sculptor quest so you can see what the actual rewards are doing it the right way. And How then the we are going to get the other stuff from Medusa. All right, so this is going to be renamed. This is Sculptor Quest Elf Thing. Alright, so there's one thing that I want to do here before we head back, because I only have one more fast travel to- well, we don't need to use the fast travel. Um, but the Veil of Gossamer Clouds. I have always felt like there's more to do with this particular quest uh, than first meets the eye. I've done this three different ways, and I've gotten a couple of different results, but I haven't done it this way yet, which I'm curious about. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have so essentially, the veil of gossamer clouds is. Um... Oh wait, you know what? I think there might be even more things that we can do here. We don't need to worry about, it, do we? Mm -hmm. Is this game plus? No. No, it's not. I um, I had a different save, and I restarted to be able to uh, start yep. fresh streaming. We shall remain here. So I haven't actually gotten... I didn't have access to back Batal when I did this the first time, so I couldn't come here. Uh, for the Forbidden Research Lab. What was the missive that just arrived? Oh. Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermont, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. A love letter? You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. 
You learned of a secret letter from Vermund? Yeah, we did. So I'm just guessing we have to find that and it's in the archives. I've been in here so many times and I've never seen that. So letter to Lord Phasis. A letter penned by Queen Regent Disa that mentions sending helping hands in return for the gifted God's Way. Found in the Forbidden Research Lab. Is that literally all we needed to do here? Interesting. It's definitely not a freaking love letter. The plot doth thicken. Conspiracies abound. Investigate in the intent between unfinished letter. I, th I still feel like there's even more we can find. And I think maybe the only way to get that final piece of information Tis good to be reunited. is through an additional side quest here. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. It wouldn't be the first time. Go up and then that. Got a question about the Sphinx. Can you kill her multiple times after beating her riddles? No, you can only kill her one time. Um, and if you fail killing her that one time, she will never come back. So you need to make sure you do it the right way the first time. Or uh, you're up Poop Creek without a paddle, unfortunately. You'll get one chance. There's a quest here. I think that's Seems my feet always leave me here. Yeah, there she is right there. Surely I'm overdue again. Well met some days ago. A fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again. Yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? Of course, madame. My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. Uh, so I think it's the morning now, but I don't know if it is. It feels like morning time. If Let's see if it is. Destination, we, cannot follow. we might have to wait until the next day, but it feels waiting. like morning. I think she's just starting it. Might not be morning. Okay, we'll have to come back. I have a... I, I have an assumption about this particular quest line that I'm I'm trying to confirm now. Some of us get complacent, but I, train every day. I actually kind of want to make a new save game here just in case, but Seems my feet. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Sorry, I know we're kind of divulging from the straight Medusa killing process that we were in the midst of, but we will get back to that in just a moment, I promise. See, it was morning time. But I think we have to wait until the next day. Alright, so it's definitely morning now. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna copy the savior. I'm just gonna live with my decisions. <laughs> you failed this quest hard? Um, I don't know how people are failing this quest. This is actually super duper easy. So if you do encounter this quest, I highly recommend kind of following along if you think you're going to struggle with this. Uh, this can lock you out of a few different things, so you do need to be careful with this particular quest line. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen, you've come just in time. Sir Armhild, tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen, 
come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, we would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I o Lambent Flame. Alright, so if you go to the Bill of Arrest, that's where you get the description of the person that you're supposed to capture. So the description, wears his hair tied back and his right arm was wounded during the attack. So essentially all we need to do is look for an NPC with its hair tied back first. There's a couple of them. And then what we need to do from there is look at the arms of said victims. So right here, you can see this guy's right arm is wounded and he does wear his hair tied back. None of the other NPCs have a wounded arm. Uh, so it's actually this guy right here. He is in the same spot every time. Uh, but that's how you figure out which one you need to tackle. We be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. We ask that Batal and we ask that a day... Uh, that's where it's gonna Who are ye supposed to be? Fie. Are they onto me? Ah, oh, shot it! Apprehend him at once! That man... Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. What's Manella's vocation? Probably butt poker, it looks like. It's definitely not the Mystic Spear Hand. Because it doesn't have two blades, but maybe it is. Oh, your majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know. Ah, yes, of course. The right, same so is true in the you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. Alright, so she's going to go there I to recuperate. I think we get to continue this quest line there as well. Efforts, sir, arisen. But what I want to see is if I go... Ooh, 18,000 gold and 5 Jasper for that. That's pretty good. I want to see if we can actually talk to her, though. Aww. Okay. My assumption was mistaken about what I could do with that. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Unless I need to come Truly. back later, but we'll figure that out later. Not gonna bother with that anymore right now. It's a nice boost of money, though. The Redux, would it do? How are you? <clears throat> this bodes ill. All right, so we're going to head back to Vernworth because I want to check out the end of the Sculptor's Quest here. And then we are going to fight Medusa two more times. I think just two more times should be okay to cover everything that we need. Let's see if this Oscar's going to head to Vernworth. Sorry, but I'm... You suck. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. This ox cart's bound can't set off till I've had my due. Mm -hmm. Do I make notes of everything? Uh, no, I don't. I haven't taken notes since I was not <laughs> since I was like six, maybe. No, I don't take notes of anything. I've never had to take notes. I just kind of remember stuff. Um, I don't know. I can't stomach places like this. I can't. Granted, I don't remember all things, but do a relatively good job. You're not getting in here on my watch. What do you mean I'm not getting here on my watch? I'm literally walking through the gate right now. But no, I never took notes in school or anything like that. Honestly, if I took notes, I just forgot stuff. Uh, 
Is this Thor? Got something for me? It is. What are you doing on this side of the border, bud? That was part of one of the quest lines when uh, we crossed the border we there. See if we can't make our way over to it. What is this? Good citizens of the land, take heed. Bandits have been sighted in the vicinity of the capital and raids on carts and travelers are bound. Meh. So thank you all for the support on the Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, streams and content. It really does mean a lot. I greatly, greatly appreciate the support. What am I so I'm gonna rig rig about oh my god. Is that an ogre, right? As long as it's not an ogre, we're doing good. I'll combine my magic with yours that you might have to spell more quickly. Except from stupid birds. I do not like the birds. The harpies, rather. I can definitely do without the ox cart ambushes. <clears throat> Why can't we sleep through those two? Where are you going? I am genuinely curious to see what we're going to get for turning to uh, for turning this in the right way. But essentially, we're just heading back to the nobles' quarter now, and we're gonna head back to Clark's house. And I think we just have to go inside. There's gonna be a bunch of people in this house this time, but we need to go to the second floor of Clark's estate. And in this back room, I believe, is where the showing is. Patrons, connoisseurs, friends. My humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. I haven't the words. It is simply a masterpiece. So if you don't use the... <laughs> If you don't use the Medusa head for this, there's not cheering when you turn this in. I shall be honored to pass this on to future generations. And it looks way better this way, too. Way more detailed. Let us give a thunderous round of applause for Master Fulvio, who has granted the world an unparalleled gift. And for the good Arisen, who aided him in his noble venture. What a marvelous so we got 18,500 gold for that, 4,500 XP. So we got quite a bit more gold, but does is there anything else? I can scarce believe I carved this with my own hands. Thank you, Arisen. This would not have been possible without you. I wonder if we count Fulvio later, that at all. It'll go well for us. And yeah, you can elongate the fight to get the same result, but it's more difficult because the griffin can just fly away. That looks exactly the same as your bad one. <laughs> I think the griffin is in a different pose uh, in the bad one. It's a decent amount of gold, though. While we're here, we are going to go talk to Sven and tell him of all the things that we have discovered. You know what? I never tried to talk to Captain Brandt about anything either. Ah, screw it. We shall remain here. I think we basically got double the gold for doing it the right way. 
It was kind of unfortunate. I was hoping something else where we're going to get even bigger reward than just gold, but gold is good, you know. And we supported the arts, exactly. Apparently, there is also a chest behind the throne in this room, too. Which I've actually never tried to get before. Somebody mentioned that earlier today in the stream. Yep, right there. Wow. How could I have missed this for so long? Ooh, the heraldic cape. How did I miss that? Gives you one magic defense. I don't know if I like it, though. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. I can't believe it looks exactly the same as the bad one, though. Silence cultivates wisdom. Craziness. Me scoozy, me scoozy. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? So... <sighs> Oh, we do have the option for... So, the the first time I did this, I said it was Twas a Love Letter. And then the quest kind of just ended. But now, we get to see the whole thing. Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign pretender though he may be. To say naught of you, does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought. Yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do. Oh, he's about to kill his mom. Is that called matricide? Ooh, we got 20,000 gold and a fairy stone. Ha! Let's freaking go. The Veil of Gossamer Clouds. There's much better rewards doing it that way than the other way. Definitely worth going to Batal to figure that out. All right, so now we got a couple different ways to deal with the uh, <laughs> his trash mama. <laughs> I wonder if we need to update Captain Brant about anything too. So I did figure out more about the uh, the ghost cart stuff as well. Uh, we started looking into that the other day, and uh, finally picked it back up. Ooh, you accidentally turned on the love letter? That's what I did the first time, too. Definitely not surprised about that one. It was one of the reasons I was most excited to actually, like, restart to see if I could unscrew that one up. Shall we get some rest, then? Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? I was hoping to get more presents outside of her door. Dudders, what's going on, man? How are you? How are you? Well 
Oh, bye bye. <laughs> nice stars. <laughs> Press five or six my concert channel. Nice. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, you know? Remove the head of that beast. That would have been cool. Where? I want to sit on a bench. You'll not get away with this. You've made yourself an enemy. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I was like, why are they saying I'm an enemy? And who let Saurians in here? Welcome to the starch we serve all manner of fine ales here. Just wondering if we can update Brant on any, any of the goings ons here. Welcome, we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I? Always a pleasure. You have my fullest confidence. Mm. Do not forget that we work to serve. You so, why is the coronation thing still thing? intended for a bistron. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Oh, okay. Do not forget that we work to serve the. Unlock the warfare last night. Thanks to your vid. Oh, hell yeah. Speaking of which, I got a whole buttload of money that I kind of want to go spend on some new stuff. Uh, but what we'll do is uh, we are going to take on the uh, Medusa again. So we're going to head back to Batal. We need like 15 days to pass before we can fight it. Just super easy if we just use a bench. Me scoozy, me scoozy. I suppose we should do the Jadeite Orb. Has anybody figured out if the Jadeite Orb quest has anything further in it, like in the future? I don't know if there's any additions to the Jada Orb quest. I really hate that quest because you wake you waste so much money on it. But I've I've done it so many different ways and I've never found. Like we get to be the good guy, but do we really? Because we lose all the money. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found in the main road, though carts travel only. Yeah, I've used the catapult. Yeah, I'm wondering if the Beastron guy, if we give the Beastron guy the real one. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Die, 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 die. Don't hurt my freaking cart, you piece of garbage. I will find your whole family. I will kill your whole. You know what? I won't even kill your whole family. I'm just going to starve them to death. Make them die a slow, painful, freaking ogre death, you piece of spicy garbage. Mm. So butthurt right now. The level of butthurt is strong. There's a catapult. If you use it several times, you destroy a faraway rock, unveiling a special item. Hmm. I wonder if I can guess this. I'm assuming it's the catapult in the Forgotten Battlegrounds. Oh, and judging by that response, that is the one. Mm -mm. Like you 
party is all male or you're still a tiger cart. I don't know, actually. those extra vocation rank ups it's the main reason i'm using warfare because i don't want to level all of them so i'm just leveling all of them slowly at the same time which is not necessarily efficient but never you fret we all have our moments it's not super duper in of it what i mean so What I'm wondering, where's the dude, bro, that's it's looking for the thing? Awesome. Also, this dude. Could it be yours befall in the cenotaph? What is the I cenotaph? The spirits had calmed somewhat since. If I cannot dissuade you from pressing onward, perhaps you'd consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure all are right with it. What is the cenotaph? Heaven. Would you mind coming over here? Huh? What's she directing us to right now? Sure I can handle this. It's the fort at the battleground? <laughs> really? Huh. Would you be so kind as to see Larsenous deeds are the ca I find any All right, we'll buy the stupid jade Welcome or Also, to, uh, don't buy a fairy stone from this guy. It's fake. It doesn't point. work. That one right there, don't buy it. Also, don't buy this. You escorted the dune. You also called the cenotaph. Interesting. Something and see the truth for yourself. Ah, I see you desire one of my master pieces. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patient. Hope to see you again. The Jedi Torb is safely in hand. Interesting. Well, I've been there a number of times. I wonder why I uh, don't get any credit for that. So, how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite <laughs> Orb? It's off, dude. Very well. Pre Let me get the forgery done first. God. Over we're going to do this the right way. Not. Th we're going to do this the wrong way. We're going to be the bad guys of this story today. How many days do we have to wait for this forge? Welcome. If you think me a liar, then buy the item you requested is complete. E. Hope to see you again. I just don't want to give freaking Ibrahim any money. Ibrahim really pisses me off in this quest. So I'm going to do it the, the wrong right way. I'm going to give the Beastrin the fake one. Can it be we have no sword wielders in our pub? Who I don't actually know where he is right now. I mislike our odds in the melee. Oh. Surely not all battles can be won with not with magic and bows. Where is the guy? Evil playthrough, let's go. I haven't seen the other dude bro lately. Huh. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I'm not sure. Maybe he he might have died. Uh oh. So well, that's a problem. It? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? 
Ah, splendid. Before we discuss, you see, in my line, come. I like this, like, the only time to use the, 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 the thing. No, he's usually right down there, but he might have died for some reason. Anyways, if we encounter him at any point in time, then we will give him the... Maybe he's back there. We'll figure it out. Smoke, what'd it do? Good day, Ibrahim. Will First time I did so this, kind? I gave him the now, fake I one. A bit of business to attend to while he but you waste so much money doing it that way. You lose so much money on this quest. We're being evil because I'm greedy. And then we're going to go kill Medusa uh, some more. We want to get the perfect head thing. Do I have another port crystal? I think I do. Do I have it in my inventory? I wonder. I think I put it in storage. He ought to be finished by now. Cut. You have done your title proud, Arisen. This jadeite orb is indeed the genuine article. My partners shall be most relieved to hear of its return. You have certainly earned your reward. I trust you will find. So, like, who's his partners, right? And I do hope you will permit me to call. He also says he's going to call on us again. So, we got the ring of skull gut, skull duggery, twelve thousand gold. And he does say he's going to call on us again. I don't know if he ever does. I'm going to be butthurt, though, if I screwed up. That her father resides in the checkpoint rest down. Shall we pay him a visit? But I think our other NPC died anyways. Then I don't know where he is I'll anywhere. We're in your hands, he's not in town Much anymore. Enough. Weird. Because he was always standing, like, right around here. But now I have a fake Jada at Orb. And nothing to do with it. Which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I guess we're just gonna carry on then, shall we? Oh yeah, Pacific Drive's pretty good. I don't know where he is. There's the a bummer. Here. So, you see, go on through. It's been a hard day. Got to find out what this town needs and sell it. Welcome, sir. Ooh, different capes. The blessed waste cloth. <laughs> Gauntleted petticoat. Doubly so. If many thanks, sir. Not buying. That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Bow. Bow. Tis just another day, same as Knows the one like before. This ox cart's bound for want on. You'll need to pay up then. Pretty sure we've killed everything we could run into. If we get ambushed, like, I just don't even know. I just don't even know anymore. Really oh, not be Wilhelm, no. welcome. Times, no, of course, it's Sorens. At least it's not an ogre. Right I think Sorens any day. I'll combine my magic with yours. You might pass the spell more quickly. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Except for when you cut their tail off and you can't pick up the tail to use it. That makes me very upset. Destination in mind. 
An ox guard would get us there with little Please, before we get attacked by more people. too far actually i wonder if we can talk to the uh the dude bro down here because he's got all of these sculptures a show of appreciate it was fair fortune i found you here it was fair fortune i found hmm I was really hoping we'd get an additional bonus for having done that the right way. Other than obviously more money. Hmm. May this day bring delights new and old. Maybe it's something later on in the story though. Ah, uh, here we are. The ox got made. I feel like there's certain things trouble. that are locked to that and you they always gotta make sure to like go back and double check every day. once in a while. Ugh! Back to Medusa. So we gotta get the next achievement. So we've already cut off her head. I wanna get a perfect cut on the head next, or uh, not next, but at some point. Uh, we are going to get the next achievement now. So we're gonna rest for 14 to 15 days. And we're just gonna sit at this bench. And what you can do when you sit at a bench is if you just spam the doze off button, you can repeatedly rest here without having to get up, which exponentially increases how quick you can kind of go through days. So we're just going to count basically 14 or 15 of these, and then we should be able to find the Medusa again. And no, I'm not on New Game Plus. Hopefully somebody's keeping count, because I sure as hell am not. Well, I think that was either three or four. Lord hath mercy. Well met, sir. How might I be a turn? <laughs> the passing of the time takes full ever. Ooh, a cat and spring. Good luck with the drive. Be safe. I honestly have no idea how much main story is past the Batal area. I feel like there isn't a lot. I feel like the majority of the story is like all the side quests. Because there's really not many more areas to explore in the game. So I feel like like where we're at in the story is probably pretty far. Like the main story itself. But I'm not sure. Oh. 
uh, because there's more Medusas, that's why. I guess we'll do this a few more times. Just to be safe. I guess I'm wondering like what the point of New Game Plus actually is. I guess to do things like to purposely do things slightly different. Alright, we're gonna go down to the uh the Medusa now and see what uh, uh see what happens down there. Hopefully it works better than the golem day skip. Well, the problem with golems or any other bosses, but well, not I guess not any other boss, but some of the other bosses is uh. Is a hot either golems can spawn or other things, so you don't mess with that depending on what you're doing. things either we are to retreat then all right we're just gonna run right to Medusa and uh, we're gonna get the next achievement Ooh, you know what I should have slept in a tent first one of us has been poisoned I shan't let them harm you <coughs> <clears throat> the Medusa. Bow, bow, bow. I expect this would fetch a fair sum at market. Do a need fitting to? reward for a rigorous set. I don't feel like I'm losing my mind right now. Like having a big old brain fart. There we go. You're the reason I bought Power World and Nightingale. This is the next I'm buying. Hell yeah. Tis a good game. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord. I like that they grab you, like, right by the, the no-no square when they do grab you. Shield? Oh my god, there was. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure this NPC over here that we encountered the first time we went to. Uh, check out Medusa, who is actually not here now. Interesting. I wonder if she died. Like, they said to come back after, like, if you find out what's on the other side. But then they're not here, which is kind of interesting. Ingenious. My own Unless they're hiding somewhere. Now that is a surprise. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe something that's encountered later. Oh. 
Oh, Christ. Screw these birds. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I broke the bridge. Oh, that's a big bummer. Now I'm kind of stuck here a little bit. Just a tiny bit. God dang it. Stupid freaking birds bring me down. More of love. Of disappointing myself right now is immeasurable. Ought we to continue this fight? We've little to gain from a victory. Thank you. Oh, spaghetti. We know those better. birds freaking follow you to uh, literally everywhere. So. Why do I use such ugly armor? Because your mom likes it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> breaking things again, like always. Look, it's like, how it's got to be, you know? If I'm not breaking stuff, am I even doing things? getting drop kicked by ogres me too honestly it's always a good laugh and a nice surprise when an ogre comes out of nowhere just drop kicking you right in the face i'm in need of aid i'm in <laughs> Gotta do the spinny boy 9000. <laughs> Nothing like running out of stamina the second you get into a fight. I'm just sitting there and getting your butt pounded in. Let's go, so Karen. Close call offers no solace and victory. We ought to consider this a lesson. And this a vocation rank up. Karen out here killing it today. If I have a warrior main pawn, they play warrior for a little to teach him how to time his attacks for enemies, or will they just learn? I think they just do it on their own. Pretty sure. Could be wrong though. Uh, so what we're going to do this time? I shan't deny they have their uses. What we're going to do this time is actually pretty interesting. Um, we got the shield, the daughter of the evening. Now, if we use this shield to take down Medusa, we're actually not going to be able to get any of the items from Medusa doing this, not the head or anything. But we will get an achievement. So I don't recommend using this on Medusa the first time. I recommend using it the second time like we are. But the nice thing about it is we will get a decent amount of XP from it. So that's a nice bonus. 
Now, if you do have the Warfarer class, you can equip the shield on its own, so you can be able to have the shield equipped as well as any other weapons that you have. Otherwise, you'll need to do this on, like, a warrior. I'm going to make my Understood. pawns wait outside. I will await you here. Then we're going to turn the lantern on. There's actually another way to be able to do this as well. You don't necessarily need to use the shield to get this achievement. Uh, but we are oh, but we are going to use the shield. And if you stand in the gaze, you can actually reflect the gaze back to her with the shield. Allowing you to be able to petrify her and you get an, and you get an achievement for it. So yeah, we got 15,000 XP, 240 DCP. <laughs> and an achievement for killing her with her own gaze. It's pretty nice shield to be able to have. Nice little XP boost. Nice, all the vocation rank ups, hell yeah. I've never tried to, like, destroy her body. Nothing. I fear I shall lose sight of you if you go much further. Mm -mm -mm. That is not the recommended way to kill her the first time, by any means. Leave all that stuff alone. I don't know if there's anything else in this cave. I think that's it. Nothing else in these corners. Not too shabby. Where is this? It is here. The Caligonus Depths. The south end of the map. Whoops. But now, obviously, we can get her to respawn again if we want to get more stuff from her, too. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. <sighs> oh, God. Come on. I'm so sick of just running out of stamina every five freaking seconds in this game. Makes me want to punch a baby in the face. Oh, that's a nice little boulder. Oh, 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 skirt, skirt. How long is uh Medusa's respawn is like fourteen to fifteen days. Um Yeah, yeah, fourteen, fifteen days, something like that. That's what we just did to get her to respawn at least. God dang wolves. I think we broke our, our pawns somehow. Oh no. <laughs> Let me go. I swear to God, I hate this game sometimes. runs off with your body. Yeah, it does. Just does its own thing. Please don't steal our waifus. No! Leave them alone. They don't want to be slobbered on. Oh, 
up big boy forgive me but I cannot guide you from here dogs and birds Ugh. I was watching funny clips and a one wolf grabbed and drug a player right to an ogre and immediately smashed them <laughs> That's great. I've had some pretty nutso things happen while playing this game. Just crazy turns of events. <laughs> oh. These are different bird boys. They're still harpies, but man, they give a lot of XP. Nice. You're even at the high level 40s too, which is crazy. That's where we get the spurious wing. It's interesting. Smoke? I haven't really explored this island yet. Um, I know there's something we need here for the uh, duo spear vocation, or the mystic spear hand, rather. <laughs> Not today, bird boy. We had many cotton fire experiences yet. Not a ton of them, thankfully. Uh, also, like getting caught on fire, you can just like run around. You're still on fire, but you're technically caught on fire, and that's happened many, 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 many times. <laughs> Screw you, birds. These are the guys that usually stun lock me a lot. So scared of getting knocked off the bridge by a flyer? You should be. It's terrifying. And it happens. Which is the worst part. There's no need to make camp here. We have energy enough to press on for a while yet. Screw you, we don't have energy. Return once we've grown tired from our labors. Mm. I still. Oh, there's a thick old dragon boy up there. Ah, good old Seagood. Hail Arisen. Allow me to join you in this trial. I like that we don't even get to answer. He's just like, yeah, I'm joining and you don't really have a choice. 
This is going to be our first main dragon takedown. So Sigurd is the uh, the mystic spear hand maester. And if we do this with them, we're actually going to get the mystic spear hand like special ability. This ball's a really nice weapon too, but... You can actually kill this dragon at the beginning of the game if you're smart about it. No one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strike. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Thank uh, Sigurd you. lives in Harvia. Oh, we got Anathema in there. An arch staff with a crown of cursed thorns, plucked from the grave of an enemy's sorcerer or eminent sorcerer, and flicks silence on those it strikes. Oh. That. That's enough. Mm. Never you fret. It's a staff that shuts we people up. How cool is that? <laughs> How many of us want one of those in real life? Perhaps we might remove it by force. Oh, Dragon's Faith. A magical shield worthy of its namesake. Crafted from magical scales of dragons. Nice. If a ranged attack is needed. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't work on herself. Oh no. I like that Seagrid's out here looking out for us too. Like shielding us and whatnot. I wonder how many more chests are in this area. Like, I want a special item for every class. Alright, so there's another one right around this corner here. 7,000 gold? Okay, I'll take it. So can we get a set of daggers up here, maybe? Dragon killing daggers? That'd be quite nice. A flawless execution. Let us try for the same that results with our next particularly time. unlikely. Another chest, let's go. I remind you of a loot goblin, that's fair. Uh the threshing blaze and twenty seven hundred gold. Nice. Oh, Billy. Thank you, Morgan. Morgan dropped down the uh, the ladder for us. Awfully convenient. Karen, please no. Oh, poor Karen. It's coming for her.
Dragon Boy's about to have a bad day. You the boils, yeah. The boils are kind of nasty, huh? Oh shoot. He's a simple-minded creature by all appearances. We could easily redirect his focus with our attacks. Chest hole up there. When enraged, this creature is capable of calamitous strength. We ought not to provoke it. How are we meant to attack it without killing it? Master, watch out! Thing's having a really bad day now. It's frozen and stuck, or uh, just getting clapped. Freaking go. Maxed out warfare too. And so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. The Paladin uh, Paladin's Enigmata is what we got. For the Mystic Spear Hand. And we should be able to loot this as well. We got Dragon's Crystal or a Dragon Scale of the Dead Ringer. Whole bunch of items from that dragon. I'd wager there's all to should be, be more Wyrm's Life Crystal that we can acquire from this thing, too. Now eat it. <laughs> Look, this isn't a delicious dungeon, you know? So Dead Ringer is actually one that you can get towards the beginning of the game. If you're actually lucky. So Dead Ringer is really, really good. It's showing Am I not? I don't know. That's pretty good though. What else did we get? A tome detailing the exceptional ability for Mystic Spear Hands. Use it to learn Wild Fury. Nice. I don't know if there's more loot here to be had. I think we got everything. Pretty sure we got everything at least. Why does it sound like there's more very grumpy things around here too? Yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. You can't be tooting when you're getting stabbed. Get out of here. Beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, Lord hath mercy upon my soul. I almost used to lead us myself. That would have been real bad. There is another chest down here. 
And a camping kit too. I suppose that would have come in handy for the dragon fight. We go around. What kind of camping kit is this? A uh, sand pattern camping kit. Okay. So we got Beast of Scrag down here too. Rotten ones. Is more. Oh, you have my protection. I was gonna say, there's definitely something sounding very grumpy down here still. I don't know what they're fighting up there. <laughs> there is something in there, too. Hmm. This whole area is just worth exploring. Every little nook and cranny for all sorts of stuff. Like there's even more on the other side of this too. I just don't know how to get to that other side yet. Hmm. Ah! Stupid bird. This feeling kind of secret tunnely. Battle is best avoided here. Hmm. I don't see an entrance to that secret tunnel yet, though. It must be up there somewhere. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like that uh, we can pause you here for the day. We've done quite a bit. We took down a couple of Medusa. Uh, we took down a dragon. We did a lot. We accomplished some of the side quests as well. Uh, so yeah, I really do hope you all enjoyed the live stream today. Well, multiple live streams because we kept exploding everything and it was a bit of a disaster. But I really do appreciate everybody's patience and uh, sticking with us and all that stuff. Uh, we'll have plenty more Dragon's Dogma content still coming out too. So make sure to keep an eye out on the channel for that. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one.